What's up, everybody? The man, it's your boy, Mr. Dugai, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugai. <laughs> and today, I'm going to talk about something a little different, man. Um, quarterback Jalen Hurts has switched his number from number two to number one, yo. Um, we'll just talk about that, that number, what I think that number means to him <laughs> in general. Um, but before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance, so I'll get back at you. Uh, come highlight at your boy, yo. Um, <laughs> first off, man, um, this is not like a slight at Carson Wentz or nothing like that. I know people going to be like, he don't want to be number two because Carson Wentz number two now. Nah. Um, you know, basically, the punter had number one last year. <laughs> like, Cam Johnson was number one last year, which, I don't uh, Number one is a pretty cool number, yo. Like, one and five, to me, are, like, my favorite numbers. I think those are numbers that look really good on players, especially skill position players like quarterbacks, running backs, you know, wide receivers, et cetera. Um... With all due respect to punters, I don't want to see another punter wear number one or number five, man. Or a kicker, for that matter. Like, get three. Take three. Take six. Whatever. Like, I don't want to see a punter with number one or number five again. Now that I got that out of the way. Um, yeah, I mean, this was his number at, at Oklahoma when he was a Heisman Trophy finalist. You know, when he put up a lot of big numbers throwing the football. Um, two, obviously, you know, that was the next choice for him last season. That's the number he wore when he was at Alabama. Uh, but he wore number one at Oklahoma, yo. Um, number one for QB1. <laughs> but I tell you what, yo, um, I'm excited to see what he could do this season. I'm excited to see what he could do. Um, the job is his, unless we pull some crazy stuff. Um, the job should be his. I want it to be his, at least for this year. Now, granted, do I know for sure that he is the answer? He is the franchise quarterback that's going to either make, you know, multiple, multiple Pro Bowls or at least, you know, get us to the promised land again. Honestly, I don't know. But I tell you what, there's some things about him that I really like. There's some things that I feel like he could work on. But me, you know, from what I know about Jalen Hurts um, up to this point, I feel like he's a guy that's a, a tireless worker. Um, he has a chip on his shoulder. Um, and regardless of what being thrown his way, you know, he's, he mans up and he deals with it. You know, um, so I feel like, you know, in the draft, we got 10 picks. I really wanted him to get a chase or a pitch, but clearly that's not going to happen now. Um, I think that 12 picks should go on a Devontae Smith if he's there or a defensive player. But I'm excited to see what, um, you know, what Jalen Hurts could do going into the season as QB1. Um, like I said, you know, assuming we don't do nothing crazy again. Um, and, and just a whole offseason with knowing he's the guy, um, working with a brand new young coach who, hopefully has a better offensive game plan than Dougie P has had, you know, this last season. Um, utilize his skill set, you know, to, to maximum ability and uh and just do some big things, yo. Um grow off of the things he did last year, the great things he did and, and just work on the things that, you know, like he gotta protect the football better. He turned it over a little too much for my for my liking at the end of the year. Um you know, um, could be a little more like he threw he threw the ball pretty well to me. Um, to me, the main thing with him was protecting the football um, and, and being a little more aggressive. You know, not holding the ball as much and stuff like that. But I felt like at times he played really, really well. Um, we got to get better pieces around him, a better team around him in general. Um, and I think I think overall, I think we gonna he go he gonna be all right, yo. Um, I like Jalen Hurts now. I didn't like the pick when we made it because we already had a franchise quarterback. So since that franchise quarterback is out the door, um, I'm willing to see what he could do. Hopefully he could be like a little McNabb or a Russell Wilson or somebody like that, um, you know, and do some big things, man. But Jalen Hurts is number one now, um, you know, so if you bought a number two Jalen Hurts jersey, man, sorry. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. 
Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there. Ask me anything. Tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Y'all should jump in. be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Um, fly Eagles fly, and y'all have a happy um, Easter weekend.